what's good well welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm t welcome to tv and i hope you enjoy your stay make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's just go ahead and get to this install i don't even want to i don't even want to make the intro too long this is from follow lala hair follow follow hair i still don't know how to pronounce it and some coupon codes will be on the screen during this video and linked in the description down below so make sure you stay tuned for that i told y'all i was gonna get better with it you know you feel me and i did so yeah let's get it too all right y'all so boom we starting out with a voice over i ain't did one in a long time so here i'm showing y'all what i used for my ball cap i went ahead and did that off screen because i struggled last time and i'm just showing y'all my hair this is the same hair as the last video the 28 inch body wave and this time I bleached the knots, washed it, conditioned it, dried it. You know, that's why it's straight. And I got some coupon codes that's going to pop up on the screen. So, y'all make sure y'all go use that and tell them I sent you. So, yeah, like, knots are bleached. Period. I did it, y'all. I overcame that fear and bleached it. Hair is nice. I'm showing y'all how it's looking. I plucked it and everything. So, yeah, get into this hair. So right here, I sprayed my lace with the lace tint, and I'm just drying it because, you know, sometimes it's wet, and I don't really want to apply it while it's wet. Then, boom, we're going in with the ghost bond glue. I went ahead and applied it. I applied two layers, and I tried to make sure it's evenly, and to do that, I just used my fingers because, I don't know, it just makes it easier for me. Okay, so now we're getting deeper into it, and I'm hot combing the hair backwards. Y'all know how I am about the hot comb, but I'm hot combing the hair backwards. Trust me. Do this step. Please do this. So this wig cap is unfortunately too big for my head, which is weird because I got a big old head. But I'm showing y'all that I'm just clipping it together. And for some reason, it forms like a ball in the back, but I figured it out. So yeah. Now it's time for the application and I found it easier to already have my lace cut since this is from my last install like this wig. I found it easier to apply with my lace already cut how I want it so I'm going to probably always do that next time. So I'm just going section by section taking my time making sure everything is on where the glue is because I don't have any alcohol to be wiping up any excess glue. So I'm really taking my time and making sure I'm putting the wig on nicely. Okay, y'all already know the deal. We finna get this lace melted. We gonna use a small comb, a rat tail comb, whatever you got. And you just gonna make sure that glue is getting up into that lace so it goes together well. So right here, I'm just cutting off extra lace that's bothering me or that's not needed. It's just sticking out. So yeah. I'm gonna start the voice over real quick because I don't know what to do. The wig cap kind of big so it don't go down. Like it don't go flat on my head. And, and I had to clip it together so it created like, there's the clip, I had to clip the clips together and then behind the clip was the rest of the wig. So the rest of the wig is like this. You get what I'm saying? It falls in my hair not to go all the way down and I don't know how to do that. I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, we finna do a side part. Over here. So here y'all see me taking my ghost bond, putting it on the end of a rat tail comb and getting the excess lace that's still sticking up. Some people just cut it off, but I just went ahead and just glued it down. 
<laughs> and as y'all can see, I was about to be sitting there all day trying to dry it with my hand and I realized to just grab the blow dryer. Blow dryer makes drying the glue easier. You always want the glue to dry. Never to never put your lace on while the glue is white. But let's look at this. Like get into it. Like get into the hair, get into the lace. It's giving scalp. So here I'm adding got to be because it helps melt the lace, but I don't like to spray got to be on there because it be looking crunchy and I don't like the crunchy look. Do I want to do a style or do I want to just do a side part? And here's me choosing what side is a good side because, you know, you got to put your side part on your good side always. Period. I did that. I did that. Yeah. Yeah. It's because I wasted that this time, but still. Hello. Ooh, I told y'all, next time I do a wig and saw it was going to be better. Ooh, y'all, look. <laughs> Everything costs money in life. That's why I'm going to be rich. Self-made too. Get into it. All the way into it. Not a little bit into it. All the way into it. I ain't got no moose. That's my problem right now. I bet I got no moose. Oh, y'all. This hair so soft. Now for the big reveal. Let's take this off. And let's see how this lace looks. Because last time my lace was a little white. I can't lie. My lace was a little white. But... Gonna see what it's looking like today since I bleached the knots and I found a lace tint that's actually my color and not too light. All right, let's see how we looking, how we living, how we coming. Oh gosh, she was stuck, but it look good. I ain't got no alcohol to wipe this stuff up. That's the only thing that's gonna mess me up for real, for real. So I know I need some mousse, but my mousse don't work, like literally. My mousse don't work. It come out like water. Mm -hmm. It's an all for me. But we're going to use what we got because that's what we got. Mm -hmm. I ain't scared of the hot cone no more. Come see me. You. Okay, I'm a little scared. I ain't going to have a scared. So don't call me ghetto, but right here I'm taking my LA Girl or whatever it's called concealer and espresso and i'm just trying to you know get the lace to match my skin tone a little more but i'm working on it y'all it's a it's a work in progress you know trust the process as always trust the process So, I was contemplating on keep it going curly or straight, so I'm just keeping it straight for now. Make sure you click that subscribe button because it's literally like a titty over here. Here. I'm going to get back to y'all when I'm on like the last strand of hair to straighten because I don't want the video to be too long. But but before I go, let's get into this. Let's get into it. Like, now, this one is really giving scalp. Last time, I was giving, giving scalp in the winter, like a little ash, a little dandruff. But today, fresh wash, condition, 
deep condition, all of that. Yeah, it's really giving. And trust process, like I said, and don't forget to use my coupon code that's going to be on the screen for this amazing hair. Now, I'll be right back. Hit it one more time like this to bump the ends. Take this off. I don't think I'm gonna like this little edge right here though, cause it's all the way down here on my eyebrow. But I think the lace gonna look good, and it do. <laughs> my head be, my head to be. Here we are. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Again, to them hair companies, y'all come, come see me. My email. Instagram, all linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. This hair is given. I got better from the last time, I feel like. Because I bleached the knots. I took my time and I wasn't so stressed. If you really like this hair and you want to try it out, use my coupon code. It's right here on the screen. It's going to be TVIL10. Okay? TVIL10 is my coupon code to get 10% off on this hair. 28 inches like and it got bone straight like this like this is some good hair it's soft it's nice make sure y'all stay tuned for my next videos appreciate y'all peace out bye this pump